What up, it's your boy UAG here, back with another one. Feels like I was here just yesterday. That's because Marvel vs. Capcom 2 release. Well, RK1UP is at it again, bringing more heat, and they announced today, and your boy truly was the one that uh, helped announce it, that NFL Blitz is here. Are you ready for some football? Cause I am. I'm super stoked. And the reason behind it, <clears throat> well, they had the original OGs behind it. They had Mark Tramiel there, a, a consultant on this. He was the original executive producer of this game back in the day. Then they had George Petro. He was a member of that team and he's the executive producer for this version of the game. Midway doesn't exist anymore, but uh, you know, basically they moved over to uh, Raw Thrills and they're behind this game. And I'm super stoked because you know when the people, the original people behind it that, that you know had so much passion for this game is involved with it, you know they're gonna do it right. And so they did. And they really, really took heed into you know, they wanted to foster this. They wanted to make this the best version that they possibly can. And things have changed. The NFL has changed, you know, protocols, concussion, health, all that and safety, all that has to play a part in this. And this game could not have been released with the old stuff, late hits and stuff like that. It just wouldn't happen, unfortunately. So, you know, you take the lesser of the two evils you either get the game without the hits or you don't get the game at all and dude i'm an nfl fan so i had to i'd rather have this game like this than not have it at all so i'm super stoked about that now what really hit it home for this game is that they everything else is there you got 90 percent of the roster so your legends like deon sanders freaking brett Farr. Terrell Davis, Jerry Rice, Dan Marino, and the bus. They gr they grace the side of these cabinets and they're in the game and they approve of this game. You got people like Chris Carter in the commercial, in the trailer, saying high praises for this game. They're not just co-signing anything. Their names associated with this cabinet. So they've all tested it out and love it and love it. So that got me stoked one of the things that they really needed to do to hit home on this game was to make sure that the gameplay was the same that the controls were the same, were right this was one of the games that had a 49 way joystick to make sure that you hit the accurate hits and turns and the speed of the game and they were able to give us that that was probably the biggest feat in terms of technology that arcade one up has ever done what's more exciting about this is that with that technology it opens the door for other games and different things now you can have a diagonal gate to be able to play games like Qbert and other diagonal games you have uh pressure sensitive games like sinistar Robotron and Smash TV. So it opens a lot of doors for future games to be coming on. And on top of that, you don't have to have, you know, this needs to be all four ways. This needs to be all eight ways. You can miss and match because of the technology they use is a digital analog stick. So you can change that in the in software and all those games can play on that. So that's pretty freaking awesome. Now back to the game at hand. Again, you have the legends in there. They all co-signed that. And what's really cool in the video, you'll see that you can actually see the RK one up logo in there. That's pretty cool to have that in there. That's a little flex on RK one up. So, you know, that's pretty awesome. Now with this game, this was the original source code when this game originally came out the nfl was pushing to get rid of the late hits in the first place so they actually you know was able to work it out with codes and whatnot but they had the original source code where they didn't have hits 
they turned off the hit detection during those the whistle blowing so you wouldn't be able to get late hits and that's what they did in this particular game so if anything this is the original game to be quite honest with you which is really freaking awesome and you know they've been talking about this game with mark and george since they worked on nba jam so this was in uh the works for some time and it just had to get done so when i told you that little things were working behind the scenes uh, the breadcrumbs were there like they started forcing a relationship with the nfl when they had that deal with the dolphins and trying to work other deals like, like with the 49ers so this was just uh, a thing that was going to happen it was inevitable but it's here now and we are all stoked and it's probably going to be here in a month or two the latest probably october so when it comes out we'll be in the full swing of the nfl and it's going to be hype because you know what in this household in the cruise household we're going to be playing that during halftime of the super bowl you damn well sure I'll, I'll probably move that bitch right down next to the tv so we won't miss a play and that's going to be freaking fun times and you got to imagine that there's going to be so many things like possible uh tournaments from your boy here maybe even a league that runs a full season you just might never know and do me a favor in the comment section down below in in the uh description down below we're gonna have a facebook group solely based on nfl blitz so you'll get all your information in the blitz whether they have firmwares whether they have new things whether they have exclusive uh merchandise for blitz we're gonna have highlights of the fantasy football league that rk one up is gonna be holding we're also gonna have um you know any information based on uh, on the blitz right there so that's where you want to be run by yours truly uag so chat is this a day one for you because it is for me it is for me i am so stoked and on top of that i don't know if you heard but they're gonna have exclusive stools for your teams so i'm gonna get me um you know two um dallas cowboy suits i can't even say that with a straight face you damn well know i'm gonna get a giant seat because that's what we do we roll in this house in the in that blue in that big blue baby in that big blue oh and i just want to say this I'm looking at you, John. That was some bullshit what you did today in that video. You picked the Giants and let them get burnt. You don't even move player two. You just throw a, a Hail Mary against them. That's some bull. And then I saw what you did with the 49ers dropping back and throwing a 100-yard pass with Steve Young. Come on, bro. And then to make it even worse, you make Deion Sanders run a 100-yard interception back for a touchdown a pick six like i know he was a great and i know he was nasty but he's still a cowboy and i hate i hate me some cowboys but with that being said i'm loving this game this is a day one for me i wonder if it's a day one for you let me know in the comment section down below and i just want to say this is your your boy uag live and uncut unfiltered unedited i love you i'll see you next time